Oh, oh. It's happening. It's happening. What's up, friends? This is Money and it's showdown time. Finally, I wanted to play this game mode so often on the test server, but every time I tried it, it didn't work. So now, finally, I hope it's working and we can test it here on the live server. One thing first I want to correct, though. Um, I said the third gun is not there. Yeah, that's because, and I didn't know that, you need to have at least one ultimate ion equipped to the weapons and the legendary pilot Kirk Sider in here. Only then will his Kirk's gun the third weapon the ultimate ion actually activate which is unfortunately because it means it, like it's it's basically locked behind some extra walls there unfortunately but I didn't know that yesterday and I corrected it here in the video so thanks for letting me know in the comments guys um, let's hop into showdown for the first time <laughs> and actually see how this game mode is it's a custom hangar so I, it doesn't matter what I have in my own it should be a specific hangar built for this game mode black screen very entertaining already Come on. Come on. What? <laughs> this is cursed. It's cursed. It's... I, I will never get to play this. Maybe Pixonic is trolling me. They bait me... <laughs> oh, by the way, yeah. If you haven't yet gotten day two of the gift marathon, uh, get it here. And yesterday, if you are a player 23 level or more, you get the ultimate destrier. I made the video yesterday. You probably already know that, but just saying it again. But, hey, I feel like Pixonic is trolling me with this. They make this appear on my screen. They know I'm going to click on it, and they're going to laugh when I try to click on it, and it doesn't work. <gasps> oh, oh, it's happening. It's happening. And we have a custom hangar, it's actually working! Wonderful! Alright, so we have lockdown unit on the Revenant. I'm starting with this one. <laughs> Yo! Finally some showdown here, man. Dude, it's been forever since I tried- since I wanted to try and get into those. First time it actually works. Somebody's firing up there. Yeah, they're firing the rockets, okay. Alright, I have um, a lot of Aegis shield due to the spike and needle. And, uh, yeah, we only have a basic robot with uh, a lockdown and a, a, a robot ability. Nothing fancy, nothing crazy here. I'm not sure, should I go and try to go for this? Let's, let's go, let's try. Boom. Boom. Yeah, <laughs> hello, friend. Okay, I hit this guy up in the air for a little bit. I can lock him down. Which it, it, it happened now. Yo, he's not. He doesn't even know what's happening. He's getting completely snacked by me here. All right, let's walk around the corner. Hold up the physical shield. If he comes here, I can attack him. I already got in the beacon, and I feel like maybe I'm going. What the heck? He just destroyed. Dude, I just jumped here and. Oh, he. Oh, he teleported somewhere because of the. No, no, the guy was destroyed. It says it on the bottom. What happened there? Why do you get destroyed? Alright, so let's wait here for a sec then. See what happens. Why is nobody playing uh, the Revenant? It's like one of the most powerful robots in this hangar, man. I don't see anybody play that thing. Why am I the first one? Do people not understand how powerful this is? Alright, let's go for it. Boom. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Uh oh. Oh boy. Okay, the first guy is now playing the Revenant. Oh gosh, I'm, I think I'm in trouble. I still have my physical shield though, so that's interesting. For such a long time. Oh, he's in stealth now. Alright. Uh, let's hop into... Yeah, into the Imugi Mark III. I'm not gonna fly stealth as long as I don't need to, because it's my defensive system. I see so many people flying in stealth, even though there's no reason for it. Just because they, you know... Uh, just because they, they, they want to have a better look at the battlefield. But it's not really how you play the Imugi. So here, this guy is attacking me. In this case, case having the stealth is a good idea. By the way, isn't it weird when you fire with these weapons from a higher location? I feel like they don't perform. All the way. They perform very weirdly when you fire from a high altitude. It almost looks like they're not hitting you right. Uh oh, I'm getting attacked from behind. Oh man, got completely snacked. Dude, the Ohokochi is dangerous as heck. Did you see how quickly I died from it? Let's play it. Orochi, sorry, I mean the Orochi. Alright. 
All right, this is but this is good man This is war robots in a state where everybody has the same chance and it's not unfair. It's not broken stuff This is top-notch man. I like that. I like that. I want to see more of this Pixonic. This is really fun. I, I I'm so celebrating this right now first off for the first time in forever. I get to actually play that game mode and uh, And then secondly I think I can take him down before... Ah, uh, no, I can't. Okay. When I'm staying here under underneath him like this, I believe he can't really hit me. Okay. Alright, let's, you know what? Let's duo him first. Okay, let's get around the corner. Nice, gotten a sweet assist. Let's heal up. Not using my stealths right now. I don't need to. Not really getting attacked so much. My healing was very ineffective, I have to say. I expected more from my healing than like, what, 15? Oh, hello! 15% uh, or so. Come on, heal me up real for reals, G. Nope, you're not looking at me. Dude, the Orochi is a beast in this game mode. Seriously, those two freaking brisants, they are quite brisant. He's gonna have two of those stealths, so I'm gonna wait out the next one. Wait, where's the second one? He only used one, right? Or did he already use both? I feel like we dominated the enemy team, and I haven't even used everything. I used three robots. I used the Revenant. The Imugi, and I did a bad job with the Imugi. I should have probably face shifted sooner. Uh, and then there is the uh, Shatter. That is very little credits gained there, man. Can you imagine? Yesterday, <laughs> I spent 1 billion credits maxing the gifted uh, ultimate Destrier. With this match spent, whatever, 8 minutes time, yeah? I got 160,000 credits. 160,000. How many matches? I, I leave it up to you guys to decide how many matches of, uh, of 5 to 8 minutes I will have to play to earn back my 1 billion silver that I stuck pumped into one robot <laughs> yesterday. Uh, feel free to calculate it. I'm not going to do it, but I, I know some of, someone of you will. So <laughs> I'll be checking the comments to see how many matches those will be. By the way, guys, if you want to help me out with the channel, yesterday was a promotional live stream for World of Warships. Go ahead, watch the video, and perhaps even try the game, because every install is being tracked, and maybe I'll be rebooked again. So thanks. <laughs> All right, let's go with the Fafnir. Oh, and Atomizers. What an awesome setup that is. Oh, this is so good. I love that. Wait. Did the enemy Fafnirs that I killed in the previous match, did they have Atomizers too? Everybody's playing the Fafnir because everyone knows it's a moon, the map is Moon and it's so good if you can fly on it. Being able to fly on the map Moon is so amazing. Alright, they're landing. They're better off landing because, uh, you know, you're very vulnerable with these Fafnirs up in the air. I'm gonna try and play this careful if I can. We have to be a little worried about the Revenants. The Revenant robots are dangerous because they can just jump on you. And Ah, oh, he's so far away. Any moment, like when you don't expect it. So this guy is flying. I'm gonna activate my shield now. For a couple of seconds, I'll be protected. Pop. There we go. Well used that shield. Uh oh, I have to land. This guy is gonna laser me down otherwise. Okay, and I saw a Revenant coming, so I'm assuming he's gonna jump on me any second now, or him. One of us is gonna get that Revenant jump on. But we have more firepower than he does. There it is. I'm activa activating Death Mark, so we can just brawl him away quicker. Uh oh, oh no, the Behemoth got me. Oh no. Okay. Okay, get back in cover. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm in trouble. I'm in trouble. Ooh, thank you, sir. Nice save. Dude, he just saved my ass. <laughs> oh, man. Good job there. I don't even know how he got him in the air. How did he even get him in the air? Death mark him so that we can finally get rid of that behemoth. 
Oh, he's still there. Nope, no longer. Oh, no, he can go through my shield. No! Ugh. I thought I had some extra time there. I don't want to play the behemoth with sniper weapons on this game mode. It's not... There's no use for it. But that is pretty good. It's a good setup. Whee! Okay. Um... Imugi is a robot I really rarely play. And this is so good about a game mode like this with predefined hangers, because you get to play things you would otherwise not even try, right? You would probably never even try an atomizer build uh, with uh, on, on a Fafnir. Would you? I would argue you probably would. And now you're doing it because uh, there is, uh, you know, you have you have fun doing it, and it's it's like predefined. Look, you see what I mean? You can't hit targets with this. This weapon doesn't hit. So, it's weird that Pixonic put this on an Imugi because... It, yeah, the Imugi actually doesn't really work with this weapon. <laughs> I wonder if that's on purpose. I wonder if they they can, uh, planned for this. It works when the enemy is in front of you like him. And if he's not, like, way lower if he's more like on your level of altitude then it works but it does not work when the enemy is like way lower than you are face shifting okay and he's getting steamrolled and grilled in the meantime that was a well-timed face shift because he got completely demolished in the meantime there's another one of those freaking behemoths Ugh. And I can't move out as long as he's here. Alright, let's go and attack him. Okay, I can hit at least. Good. Got him! And I think I can actually hit him too. No, no, no longer. Alright, should I capture now? Nah, I'm gonna let, let them have this beacon, man. We're already winning this on beacon progress so much. Again, a dude just dies while I'm face shifting. <laughs> it sucks. Uh oh, I have to be careful here. I'm gonna die now too, but it's okay. I mean, I just wanna hammer in some damage. And the damage from these weapons is not as good as it used to be, but it's not terrible either. They do a decent damage because they do consistent damage. They never have to reload, so... And they provide you with a shield, and that is a big, big thing too. So... Those weapons may no longer be the meta anymore and, like, kill you quite as fast as they once did. But I would argue that they're still pretty good. I think they're still really good weapons, overall. Damn it, I'm not drinking my coffee. I must be a Fafnir. There's another one. <laughs> he teleported, using an Imugi teleport. There's another Revenant coming up. My stealth is working against him. Where'd he go? I'm going very close to him. Activating my second stealth too. Oh no, I have to reload. That reload sucks. Come on. Oh man, I'm getting freaking slaughtered here. Oh, but I almost took the entire Imugi with me. And so hopping into the Revenant at the very last. Dude, I'm glad. I finally... I have a bug. Ah, oh, now I can't walk. Um, I, I was pressing uh, forward. I couldn't. Um, I'm glad I was finally able to play the showdown mode. Which is, if you will, a little bit... It's like War Robots Classic, right? Um, so you, you just... You log in, you have a whole full defined set of hangers. Everybody has the same. You, you earn next to zero silver, right? You earn like nothing. Uh, if you're trying to make a silver, it's like wasted time. Um, but it is certainly fun. Um, I would, if if I was asked for feedback on this, I would say please boost the silver income up by by three times or four times, because this is an awesome fun game mode, and it would be awesome if people used it too. But if they are under, if they understand they can't improve their account by doing so. Uh, then they will not do it. 160k silver is a drop in the ocean. It's, it's nothing. Oh, so, Pixonic, maybe you could consider 
uh, boosting up that uh, pay payout a little. At least make it twice as good. It would still be bad, but you know, it would at least be a little bit of a more of an incentive for people to actually use this awesome game mode that you have made. And what about classic? No hangar, no drones, no titans, uh, no ships. It is just awesome, right? I mean, this is so much fun, and you get to play equipment that you would otherwise not play. The only thing missing, like I said, is the incentive created on Pixonic's side for you to think, all right, that's awesome, let's do it and, uh, you know, earn our silver this way. Maybe 20% less silver income, but still good enough to do something, you know? Um, all right, so uh, finally, thankfully, I was able to do it. So, yeah, see you in the next video. Tell me what you think about it. And Manny signing off. Bye-bye.